Hi, my name is Jerry Bellows, and I'm going to show you today how to do foot taping for the painful foot. There are a number of conditions you can use this taping for, and there are five steps you can do on your own to help your foot pain improve without having to do formal physiotherapy. The five steps include good footwear, taping, hot, cold, ice, whatever makes it feel better, peel, cup, and stretching. This tape primarily will focus on the taping aspect of looking after your foot at home. Most of the painful foot conditions out there, the plantar fasciitis, the Achilles tendonitis, the lateral column pain on the outside of the foot, and the heel pad syndrome can all be helped with this tape job. The type of taping that we're going to use is the coverall stretch, which is a hypoallergenic tape base to protect the skin, and the brown leukotape P, which is a high adhesive tape designed to support structures while they're injured to allow them time to heal. The first thing we'll do is take a strip of white tape and place the tape along the sides of the foot from just behind the little toe, under the ankle bone, around the center of the heel, back around the outside of the foot, under the ankle bone, back to the big toe side. That strip, it has a little backing on it. If you keep that backing, you can use that as a template to measure off how long your strips need to be when you tape it. Tack the tape on lightly so that if you do need to move the tape, you can. It's difficult to see the other side of the foot, so by doing so, you'll get the tape fairly close without too many wrinkles. Wrinkles don't matter that much because the tape is very soft and it will flatten out as soon as you step on it. Once we have our first white strip in place, we will need to use the brown tape from starting just in front of the ankle bone on the outside, around the center of the back of the heel, back to the inside. Once you've measured off your tape, you can cut it with your scissors. And this strip does not need to be very tight. He's just an anchor to protect the skin and hold this tape in place while we're protecting the heel. Most foot pain for the plantar fascia and heel, the pain is on the inside part of the arch and heel. So we want to start our strip on the outside part, tack it on, bring it around to the inside, cut it with your scissors, and give it a nice firm snug up, which usually feels quite good to the foot to have this support and compression on the structure. We're going to overlap by a little bit, moving towards the back of the heel. We're still going to come through, cut it with our scissors, and give it another little snug back up towards the top of that strip. Our third strip, because we have a little opening left here from the tape and the curve of the heel, we're just going to put one on a diagonal, tacking it on the outside again, bringing it over the spot that needs to be covered, using our scissors to cut it once more and cover up the heel. And there is our heel cup. This cupping effect supports the injured structure, allowing it to be less painful and give it a chance to start healing once the inflammation is decreased. The second part we want to do is protect the foot from the arch all the way back to the heel and we use a longer strip and I roll off about 8 to 10 inches of brown, tack it on the ball of the foot on the big toe and line it up along the inside of the arch, around the center of the back of the heel and I'll bring it right back around the outside. We don't put this strip on too tight because we are covering the arch and the arch needs to have support but not too much. Once we cut it with our scissors we're going to come right back to the ball of the big toe and this looks like a teardrop or a loop starting and finishing at the same spot at the big toe. We need three strips of tape to cover the whole ball of the foot and the arch of the foot. So our second strip will roll off again, eight to 10 inches. We'll put it in the middle ball of the foot, bring it along the inside heel, around the center of the back of the heel, which covers exactly over the same spot we put our first strip, and then bring it right around back to the ball of the middle of the foot, cutting it with our scissors once more, and back to the middle. Our third strip keeps moving over towards the little toe side. We'll start him at the little toe ball of the foot, still angling him inside the arch, inside the heel, same spot on the back of the heel, all the way around, give it a cut. Now we're back to the little toe ball of the foot. So those three strips cover the arch, around the heel, and support all the structures in between. A few wrinkles, just give them a firm little squeeze down, and they should flatten out nicely. The third layer of tape we'll put on, we'll start at the outside of the foot again, at the back of the heel, tack it on the outside, bring it around to the inside, make sure you're cutting it with your scissors. This layer of tape doesn't need to be as tight. A little bit of a pull, but not too much. The cupping of the heel we did first was tightest, the loops we did second are loosest, and these guys are medium. A little bit of a tug, but not too tight. Four strips should get you to the front part of the heel, from the heel to the front part of the foot, and once you have those four strips in place, we can cover up the edges and seal the tape job. The last strip around the top edge 
you do want to make sure that you are just above the edge of the tape that we've already placed on. By doing so, you'll actually seal the tape in and not allow water to get in it when you shower and have the ends roll up in your stockings. Some people who tend to sweat a lot will put an extra strip of brown tape along the ball of the foot. This extra strip of brown tape is really just designed to kind of coat the ball of the foot and stop the tape from letting go so easily. You have to be careful when you have your taping on because usually your symptoms will decrease about 40 to 60 percent just by using the tape. You have to make sure not to increase your activity too much. By increasing activity too much, your foot still will be painful. Modification of your activity is essential to make this better. Cycling is, or swimming is a much better choice than walking, running, using elliptical trainer, Stairmaster, those types of activities. If you are swimming, you'll just have to tape more frequently. And that's the basic foot taping. There are a couple of minor adjustments you can make for different problems. If you have an Achilles tendonitis pain, pain, which is just above the heel on the Achilles tendon, you may need a little extra white tape to protect the skin of the Achilles tendon. And we'll just put him above the tape that's already covered the back of the heel. Usually two strips of brown, one to two inches in length. starting on the outside and overlapping by about a half with not too much pull will allow the Achilles tendon to be protected as well. Another condition we see is rather than inside arch and heel pain is outside foot pain around the ankle bone or around the top of the foot. The rule for taping your foot always has been pull the tape the direction where you have pain. If you have inside foot pain, we're going to start on the outside of our foot and pull the tape to the inside. If we have outside foot pain, conversely, we'll start on the inside part of the foot and pull to the outside. The heel cupping of the three strips could be pulled to the outside first because this joint likes to be offloaded. And then the last set could come back to the inside to balance out the effect of the outside of the inside of the foot. At times, this joint is so irritable, the more support you can give it by pulling it to the outside, the better it does. So it's always an option to be able to take your first layer and your last layer to the outside to offload this joint. Typically, the taping will take an hour or two to stretch out and actually feel quite comfortable and most times it is. For the small group that it isn't, there are some symptoms you have to watch out for. If there's any pinching, grabbing, burning, pain, pulling, your foot doesn't like it, the tape must come off. If you have to take it off that day or that night, make sure that you're very careful, peeling the edges very gently and the bottom of the foot very gently, and the tape will come off like a little reverse moccasin. Showering is fine. You will be able to get a couple of showers while your tape is on. Be quick in the shower. Dab it off with a towel when you're all done, but just make sure the tape's nice and dry and it will last you probably for three or four days. Keeping the tape on longer than three or four days can be a bit of an issue because some skin just does not like adhesive on it. So you must be careful. Make sure the tape is removed after three or four days. Give it overnight to dry out and then you can retape it the next day. Skin needs air and that's important to protect the skin because if the skin gets damaged, you will not be able to tape your foot. Usually a full roll of brown Luca tape P will get you through four individual foot tapings. And if you're taping every three or four days, that would get you through a couple of weeks of taping. If you have to tape both feet at the same time, they're both a problem, you'll get two tapings per foot. So the taping will last you, a roll of tape will probably last you about a week. The other problems that end up happening with the tape is that once your tape is bothered your skin, you will have to protect the skin by putting some lotion or some type of uh, cream on it to protect it. And usually in, with the use of the shoe and the heel cup and the tape, those are the three main offloaders we have for the foot. The taping is not meant to be a full-time uh, a full-time technique. You want to use the tape on a short-term intermediate time base to help protect the foot enough so that the healing can start. Once the inflammation and the pain has dropped, the foot will start to heal. The taping that we use is primarily used for about four to six weeks at a time and then people find they can wean themselves off taping and actually maybe not even use the tape except for special occasions when they can't put support in their shoe or if they have to be on their feet for an extremely longer amount of time than they usually would. And that's how you tape a foot. I'm Jerry Bellows from Eau Claire Sports Physiotherapy.